Hi guys, the housework, I'm smoking my Nording pipe and in it I've got Dunhill's early morning blend. Sorry, just a moment. In the 1590s, <coughs> that's the 16th century, in Holland, the first tulip bulbs were brought in. They were brought in from Turkey. And such was the beauty of the bulbs, people began to buy them at very, very high prices. Price is so high that the top price for one tulip bulb cost one man the whole of his estate. And believe me, it was a very large estate. They were selling for fantastic prices. The lowest prices were a price that you'd pay for an onion. It was that range of prices. And the great aim was to get a black tulip, which would just go for, I don't know, maybe the cost of a country. It seemed that the making of fortunes, the beauty of the tulip, the whole regime would never end. That people could make more and more money. And then suddenly the market crashed. For some reason people wouldn't pay that kind of money. It was devastating. So many people had invested in it. So many had risked their lives, their fortunes, their health. And somebody had said, are they worth it? I'm not paying. And everything had gone. I was reading about this just recently. And it reminded me of something that we're all involved with. This race for esoterica, particularly for the Penzance blend. People are paying vast prices for it in some ways. You know, £100 a tin. Or 200 I've heard somebody say. What are we buying? At least with the tulip, you've got the flower year after year and more tulips. What do we get with Penzance? A lovely taste and a lot of smoke. Going up, up, up into the air. And what do we have at the end of it? If we're lucky, an old tobacco tin. 
if we're unlucky, a plastic bag that the sample was sent to us in. Is Penzance and the Esoterica blends the only ones that have that taste? I don't think so. I think there are other tobaccos, other blends that have taste. And there's one, I'm told, that's even like Penzance. Near enough in taste to be acceptable. Think about it. What happens when somebody says the emperor's got no clothes? It's not worth it. And then somebody else says, I'm not paying that. I'm not chasing that. I can buy dozens of tins of another blend. Well, if that happens and the market crashes, some of you are going to be left with a cellar full of Penzance. Probably more than you can smoke yourself. When the tulip crash happened, you could hardly give them away. People said, no, sorry, it's not worth it. Penzance comes onto the market when it's sold out within the day. Some of you are applying to a dozen tobacconists, maybe, or at least three or four, in the hope of getting what? A couple of tins? Four tins? Eight tins? Maybe half a pound? Or a pound? And others, desperate to get on the bandwagon, keep trying and trying to get some of the blend. This magic Penzance, when you smoke it, it will take you to heaven. Really? Is a pipe full of tobacco worth that. I don't know. Maybe it is. But it's a funny world, isn't it? What do you want? I want to spend my money on something that goes up in smoke. I've smoked Penzance and I think there must be something wrong with me. It's nice, yes. It's even a very pleasant smoke. but it's not that great that I'd spend a hundred dollars on a tin that I'd queue up online scrabbling because somebody has said Penzance is in There are people who seem to know how to get it, how to make their money. It's what smoking's all about, isn't it? 
striving for the mystical tin. Or is it about something else? Is it about finding a tobacco? However cheap that you like and gently smoking it, giving some away to your friends maybe. And some of you are very, very generous with the esoterica blends. And that's good. That's what smoking is all about, sharing with your friends. <coughs> Just think what would happen if we treat Penzance the same as any other tobacco. There'd be enough to go round. There'd be enough for everybody when they wanted to smoke to have it. When I worked in the garden centre, a certain grower had overplanted a little green, evergreen house plant. He was desperate to sell them. So in the end, he went to a lady who'd won some money and persuaded her to say, it's all because of this little plant that I bought. It's called the money plant now. He sold his greenhouse full and was very happy. And still today, people come into the garden centres and say, have you any, any money plants? Thinking that in some way, it's going to be bring them luck. In some way, this little plant has power. I wonder if at one time there are a lot of tins of esoterica blends that weren't selling. There's only one distributor, so he has to sell what he's got. What better way than to say, this is the blend of all blends. This is Esoterica Penzance. This is bliss. I have the vision that one day Somebody's going to be asked, would you like to fill your pipe with Penzance while you're here? And him turn round and say, no, have you any Dunhill early morning blend? Or have you any other tobacco? I don't particularly like Penzance. It'd be odd, wouldn't it? I'm going to leave you with that thought. 
leave you with the thought of the tulip that you'll see in so many civic gardens in its, all its myriad of colours that cost the lives of so many people when the bubble burst. Well, I don't think at the moment if the bubble bursts on esotericas and penzance that it will cost lives but it might mean it might leave some of us with a cellar full of this particular blend that we'd intended to sell for a ridiculous price Hmm. You know, this isn't a bad blend. I'm quite enjoying it. And it only cost me a few dollars. <clears throat> now I'm trying to think of a joke for you to end on. There was an old lady She went into the butchers and he was cutting her meat for her Sunday roast and she noticed that there were two balls on the back shelf of the butchers and she said, what are those? And he said, oh, they're my golf balls. Yes, they're golf balls. And she said, oh, well, you know, and she takes the meat. The next day, she, next Sunday, next weekend, she goes back for her weekend meet. And he's going golfing in the afternoon. And he's now got four balls on the shelf above him. And she looks and she says, oh, I see you killed another golf. <laughs>